staying with them and how we can get a positive result. And a positive result means winning at first. Um, so, you know, we're just looking at the time left in the test match, and uh, it didn't make sense um, carrying on. We wanted to uh, to ensure that we throw the, the ball in the West Indies court um, and just give enough time maybe for a positive result for us. Yeah, and Stu, uh, both teams on different occasions of the match uh, were in good positions uh, to win. How do you feel in the end about uh, the, the result? Yeah, look, um, there was different spaces from day one. We played a lot under pressure and we played uh, some phases with we on top. And such is the nature of, uh, of test cricket, you know. And uh, this afternoon, once we saw that we could not achieve uh, the win that we needed, the best next result is a draw. Um, and we are absolutely proud of the, guy, of, of the way the guys handled themselves out there, out there in particular, uh, to part of the team, uh, William Tom Massacre, the way they played. The back end there, obviously, Gary did, did really well as well in that phase. So, now we're pleased at uh, the way the guys adapted to the situation, even though you know we were not going uh, towards towards a winning result. Okay, it's true. Uh, obviously, from every match, there are some things that you definitely want to polish up. What are some of those things that you need to make sure that you get uh, right going into the second test? Yeah, you're right. There's, there's uh, ever always spaces and, and places to improve. Um, you know, every day and. Every series we play, we're looking to polish up with, with techniques in certain, in certain spaces. But the Zimbabwe cricket team at the moment has been about uh, getting an, an attitude towards towards winning, and we're quite happy with uh, with where the guys are. And we just want to continue improving in in, uh, in, in attitude. Um, but you know, technically, you know, we could have a real long talk about about that. There the, the are places that we're working on. Coach, um, just two questions for me. First of all, uh, as a coaching department, uh, what's your take on the result? Many will take the draw and say it's okay, but uh, at some point in time, I did feel that you guys were going for the win. Yeah. But where do you guys stand at that? Yeah, um, like I've said a few times already, we were going for the win. That was our attitude from, from day one. Um, but how do we feel about the result? The series is alive. There's another test match to be won. Um, you know, we'll go away tonight and look at uh, you know what what transpired in the test and we'll try and explore ways uh, to get better and win the second test. I'm asking now the second question. You had five debutants. How do you feel about their performances and any notable players that you'd like to mention who stood out for you? Yeah, I'd say all of them were fantastic. Um, Tanu, Makoni, and. Um, uh, and Ines and Kaia, as a partnership, uh, you know, obviously what they did in the first innings for us was fantastic. They got us a, a really good start. Um, obviously, you know, we would like them to, to, to carry on and make it, make it bigger. That's a, that's a point of improvement. But they were so pleased at, uh, at what they did for us there. Um, Gary Balance, obviously, uh, starting for us, but not new to test cricket. Uh, it goes without saying he was fantastic in this. Uh, in this test match, um, but also you know, uh, Brett Evans and Tafatu Tiga in their spaces, um, very tough wickets for 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 Seamus to bowl and they put in a good shift, and you know you know we're proud proud of him for that. Tafatu Tiga at the end today, um, you know with the bat, he stood up really tall for us, and um, you know he, he did a tidy tidy job with the gloves. A uh, couple of things here and there that he has to improve, but you know, first test match comes with a lot of nerve. Um, yeah, so to answer you, there we were proud of what our, our debutants um, did in this and achieved in this test match. Um, so my uh, my final two questions is to say, do you think because you had so many debutants that the West Indies may have underestimated the capacity of your, of the fight in your team? And uh, secondly. The, I always ask about the crowd. What do you say about the crowd from day one to day to day five and their response to the team? Uh, the first question, I don't believe that the West Indies took us uh, for granted. Uh, you know, the way it's about the has been going um, of late, I don't I believe not, not many people will take us for, for granted. And it is test cricket. You know, I, I, you know they are a proud uh, test cricket in nation. Every test that they play, I'm sure, is important um, to them. So I don't believe that they would have taken anything for granted coming into this test match. 
Um, you know, as far as the, 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 the crowd is concerned, the fans are, you know, we're coming into a space where we believe we've, we've genuinely got the best fans in the world. Um, they've been fantastic. You know, the, the weekend was great. The event was, was, was able to turn up and you know, out here and, and sang and had a great time and created a, a, a wonderful atmosphere. So, you know, we're ever so thankful for, uh, you know, for the backing they're giving the side. Um, and it's exciting going forward. Okay, last one, Brian. Uh, as we uh, have in Singapore, it, uh, it, it means uh, you will probably have a better shot. Um, what I was thinking, like, going into this match, looking at that, you guys, you have seen quite a few guys who are experienced, then you go into a game where you're probably a better shot. It's a similar answer to what I've spoken about um, um, you know, from the start. Having seen that at six weeks, we knew that obviously you know, you, you are most likely a better shot, but we, we, we're looking at ways to win a game. And uh, one of the ways, the best ways to win a test match is to take 20 wickets. So, you know, we will throw a responsibility to, the, to those top six to make sure that, that they they know that they need to do their job and, and put the runs on the board. Um, but our chain at Bulawayo was really, it was always really tougher to get 20 wickets. Um, so we needed that department to um, to have enough. So, you know, we not really, not really in a place to apologize for having our uh, keeper bed at six because it's not that capable. Uh, yeah, but we needed, needed the bowlers to, to um, Given the best chance to take 20 minutes. Yeah, as a former uh, baseman yourself, what's your comment on the transformation of uh, Brendan Mauta into, uh, if I can call him a, a, betting, a bowling all around and now? I don't know about transformation. Brendan has always been um, a hard worker with, uh, with the bat. His first job is to take techniques for the teams that, uh, that he plays for. Um, you know, for me, it's just pleasing to. To, to see him um, come out and do what he did in this in this test match, but which you know over the years um, he's been he's been a guy that scored runs for his um, uh, you know for his uh, representative teams that he's he's played for. Um, but but it's pretty good to see him stand up at uh, in this stage in which he when it matters most for um, for his side. So he's pretty pretty much that as out of a of a tricky position there. So so pleased for him. Next.